Hey y'all, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Alexis Celine. Welcome to my channel. I'm gonna be taking you along with me to Starbucks. Starbucks does have some drinks out for the holidays, so I wanna go ahead and give them a try. I'm not much of a Starbucks drinker. In my opinion, it's a little bit pricey for like an everyday thing, so I just stick to my instant coffee, but yeah, I wanted to give it a try. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do so. I'd love to have you here. Also, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and hit the bell so you'll be notified of any future uploads of mine. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and head over there and I'll pick the camera up once I make my work. Okay, Papa, so I'm gonna wait for just a moment. Yes, ma'am. All right, we're gonna get started for you. Hi, yes. Do you have all six of the uh, holiday drinks available? We have, we do not have chestnut fragrance. Okay, um, but you have all the other ones? Yes. Okay, can I get um, one of each and tall's? One of each and tall? All yes, right. ma'am. And do you have any reindeer cake pops? Reindeer cake pops. Let me check on that for you. Okay. Five minutes later. Okay. How many reindeer? How many reindeer do you need? Um, just two. Right. And that's it. All right. Thank you so much. It smells so good. I don't even have my window down, and I can smell the coffee in my truck. Super strong. Hi. Thank you. Okay. All right, y'all, sorry for the bad lighting. The sun is currently going down and it's like beaming on me where I parked at. But yeah, so they, they only have four of the drinks that are available online. There were six. Let me read to you which ones are available. So they have the peppermint mocha, the ice sugar cookie almond milk latte. That's a mouthful. The Irish cream cold brew, caramel brulee latte, toasted white mocha chocolate, chestnut praline latte, and then the reindeer cake pops. So they had the cake pops and four of the drinks. Um, she told me there was only one that they didn't have, but obviously there was two because I only got four. So yeah, let me show you the little cake pops. The cake pops are so cute. This is the little cake pops right here. I just went ahead and got two for my kids. So I think I'm gonna start off with the cold one because I am a iced coffee kind of girl. I tend to drink iced coffee versus hot. I usually drink hot whenever I'm feeling sick or it's like really cold in the house. I like to drink hot coffee. So I'm gonna start off with the cold one and I think like more people are parking by me. I don't know if I should move. But yeah, I just got a tall. This is the ice, the ice sugar cookie almond milk latte. That's like a lot to say. And it does have some sprinkles on top. I'm gonna go ahead and taste it. Hmm. It's okay. Um, the cookie flavor is definitely there. It's very strong. And also the almond milk. I'm not a big fan of almond milk, but yeah, you definitely can taste those two. It's not my fave. Usually when I come to Starbucks, I'm a basic girl, so I get vanilla bean frappuccino, caramel frappuccino, or Ice caramel macchiato, those are my types of drinks that I like to get when I come here. So I'm gonna rate that one out of one to 10, I'd probably give it like a five. It's not like the best, but it's not disgusting. I'm not really much of a cookie person, so maybe that's why I don't really like it because that cookie flavor is really strong. So the next one that I'm gonna be trying is the toasted white chocolate mocha. It is pretty hot. Uh, hopefully I don't burn my lips in my mouth. Mm, that's it's strong like a strong coffee taste but it's really smooth and it, i feel like this is something that will like wake you up it's something good for the morning time it's not bad um i think this one is a little bit better than the other one that i just tried i would probably rate this one a four out of ten so up next i have the peppermint mocha i might have to move because there's like so many people and the sun is not doing me any justice. It's like really messing up. So let me go ahead and move and then I'll pick up. All right, y'all. So I decided to move because I don't know, everybody and their mom decided to go to Starbucks today when I wanted to film. I don't know why, but yeah, no, nah, just kidding. Um, usually Starbucks is always freaking packed. Um, I should have known well, that. Duh. So yeah, just went ahead and moved so I can uh, finish up this video. So the next one that I'm gonna be trying is the peppermint mocha. This one's pretty hot, so. Mm -hmm. hmm. The peppermint is very there. It is strong, honestly strong. I can like feel it in my nose. That's how strong it is. So I'll probably rate this one like let's say a three. These aren't doing so well with me because I told you I'm basic and these are a little bit out there. And let me give it another try. Yeah. 
the peppermint flavor is too strong for me. Now I'm gonna rate this a three out of 10. It's a no for me. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna move on to the last one. Okay, so I think I got the first one mixed up with this last one. I don't know where, I, get, I don't know if they made this drink yourself or what, but it was not on the menu that I saw online. But the first one that I tried was a, a sugar cookie almond frap. And then the last one that I'm gonna try is sugar cookie almond latte. This is the latte and that one was a frap, which I don't know where it came from. But yeah, uh, just to clarify. Okay, so the hot versus the cold with the sugar cookie, I felt like it tasted way better. Hot, um, the latte to me tastes better than that wrap. So this one, I'm probably gonna rate it like a eight out of 10. It's not bad at all. It's really good. I think just like the chunkiness of the frappuccino made it kind of weird. I don't know, I'm a texture person and like I don't like the texture of the frappuccino. I usually get frappuccinos, but with that sugar cookie, I don't know. It just didn't taste that good to me. So yeah, not bad at all. This one's pretty good. You should try this one. The other ones, eh, I don't know. They're all right. To me, the worst one probably is the peppermint mocha. I don't know. The peppermint is just way, way strong. So yeah, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you've tried these drinks or which one is your favorite, what is your go-to. Thank you again for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, like I said, and please don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified of any future uploads of mine. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, bye.